Hi everyone, welcome back to InfoSec Train. My name is Divyani and today we have Mr. Bharat with us. He's a cyber security expert and a trainer at InfoSec Train. Hi Bharat, how are you? Hi Divyani, thank you for having me here. I'm good. How are you? I'm fine, thank you. Uh so Bharat, we have launched our uh, SOC expert course. Uh, would you like to uh, tell something about it like uh, what is this uh, SOC expert course from InfoSec Train? Absolutely. Since being the product on owner of this particular course SOC expert we have designed two different courses under under this SOC expert in which we do have SOC enlist which will be covering on the basics of information security particularly into security operation center that is SOC so we are going to talk about basic to intermediate level of skill support there in that course where we do have threat intelligence digital forensics incident response basic blue team operational architecture these type of things we are going to cover in soc analyst that is one course under this soc expert and right after that we do have another course that is soc specialist so in soc specialist we are going to cover something which will be a next level to that one which you have done with us in analyst so we will be again talking about some security operational architectures like maturity models and uh, different dif- different different types of compliances in soc and then we will be talking about tools like ibm curada or elastic sim up over there we will be also covering upon things like threat hunting and vulnerability management in that soc specialist training so bundling up a full power packed session is what soc expert is all about okay so uh, moving on to tools what are the tools that we are going to cover in this course yeah since uh, both of these particularly courses are being uh, created in such a way which will be covering lots of things overall into this information security domain so if i have to particularly name some tools we will be covering in soc analyst we will be covering splunk security onion wireshark we will be covering uh, volatility we will be covering alien vault otx we will be covering misp project so most of the open source approaches we are going to have and we will be talking about some commercial alternatives as well up over there and if i do talk about soc expert again In Soc Expert, we are going to cover uh, Elastic Sim, which is one of the renowned sim solution and open source these days. We are going to talk about IBM Curadar. We'll be talking about tools like GFI Landguard. We will be talking about tools like Nisus, Nikto. We'll be talking about again Wireshark in that same for threat hunting cause. So lots of things are going to cover, and these are like few of the tools which are which we are going to cover in the Soc Expert training. Okay, that sounds very interesting. So how is InfoSec Trains SOC Expert course different from others? Yes. So if I do basically say that the purpose of this particular course was to cater the market's need or industry's needs of actual SOC experts who can basically do the work which is being given in SOC because in market we do have a gap in demands and supply. like soc demand is there but supply of those particular skills are not there so in order to address that particular thing we have created this course with all the things which are the industry's need these day we will be focusing upon hands on things we will be focusing upon hands on skills we do have complete cloud lab structure for this in order to basically cater all the practical needs up over there so hands on practical plus the uh, points which will be uh, helpful to you in your day one of your soc job that's what basically makes this infosec trains soc analyst and soc specialist course different from others okay and what are the career benefits of this course anyone who is looking to get the job into soc i believe this course is going to help them a lot because uh, if i do say that in this particular course we are basically having all the skills being transferred so in terms of skills we are giving them live hands on experience industrial use cases or we can say the case studies which we have seen so far past in this particular industry so we are taking those particular example we are building upon them so that the defenders of today can defend the threats of tomorrow so bharat what sort of labs are we providing with this course can you practically demonstrate it absolutely so in order to help the participants we do have our own cloud infrastructure where we are providing the labs where we do have already lots of tools being installed and demonstrated up over there with a lot of use cases which are already on the labs which will aid the participants to demonstrate uh, their skills and to showcase their skills practically as well so you can see up over here we do have already 
a machine being ready where we will be having tools like FTK Major, Autopsy, Wireshark, Network Miner and all of these different different tools. Apart from it, we will be also having various different tools which will be installed like this is one of the demonstration of IBM Curada rapport here where we will be having multiple different things coming up. We will be able to see all the log activities where we will be taking the sample logs. We will be working on those particular sample logs. We will be working on certain different types of network activities in order to trace out the network anomalies. We will be working up over here. So this pretty much will be summing up our entire cloud lab with this SOC course. Okay, and uh, for how long will the lab access be valid for the participants? Yeah, so talking about the lab accesses, lab access will be uh, valid for the participants up till the training. So as long as they are part of the training and they do give the exams, labs will be active for them. Okay, and uh, what is a SOC analyst exam from InfoSec Train? So this SOC analyst exam from InfoSec Train consists of 24 hours of rigorous practical exam where we are going to do all the things which we have learned throughout the course. So we will be having five different scenarios in this particular exam where we will be starting with network analysis where we have to do a particular challenge of network analysis. Then there will be memory analysis followed by disk and email analysis. So this will be summing up the forensics part where the root cause analysis will be the major challenge which a participant has to do. And after that, we will be working upon threat intelligence where behavior and the reputational data which the participants have learned to collect in the class will be collecting and will be giving the answers within 24 hours of their machines being activated. Thank you for your time, Bharat. So if you guys want to know more about this course, you can check out our courses at www.infosectrain.com. See you guys in the next video. Till then, bye-bye. Thank you.